The dam giveth, the dam taketh away. Dam. The dam or the power company? Dam the dam. So Bill told me that this is the version of the internet when you're out here in the middle of nowhere. It's in the vault. I'm going to use my special you know keypad. Okay. Yeah, my special keypad here to open it. The incredible Oreo Audio purple. Bubble. There is nothing wrong with your video stream. We are controlling your feed. Sit quietly and experience the awe and mystery from the outer limits of the open road. <laughs> This is Buckskin Mountain State Park. We saw it last year and it looked absolutely beautiful, so we were looking forward to checking it out. And it's right on the Colorado River. Gorgeous. Was looking at this so I feel less concerned about the river at yeah. this point because it's the dam that's controlling all this right. up and down okay. yeah. the dam dam the dam giveth the dam taketh away dam the dam or the power company dam the dam the power company <laughs> is two tenths of a mile goes up to probably just up to the top where you can take pictures and then oh okay so the purple one is like a mile On the agenda is getting a walking pole, a trekking pole stick. That would be really helpful. 
It's a very tall steps on this particular hike. It's way up there too. You don't want to make a misstep. hikes you go that way yeah this hike is the short hike it's that way the that's where hike. that's where we're going that's my name all over. Yeah. it's still not much of a baby miles. hike <laughs> we came all the way up here that's a bit of an accomplishment i call that an accomplishment yeah and uh we're headed for that uh, bench that's up there on the top of the mountain <laughs> Every time I look over the edge, I get dizzy. California over there. What? California over there. Those people yeah. are just just living there in California. Like it's nothing. I'm super glad I changed into my hiking shoes because this is quite treacherous. We have a perfect view of our camper from here. Perfect view of our camper. So tiny, can we even see it? And of course, not satisfied, Bill's gotta keep going further out onto the no man's land. Because he's a goat, basically. I'm satisfied with this bench, personally. Yep, and there's a camper down there. Can you see it? We were at the top of that mountain there. It was a, a nice hike from over there. And then we went up and across and up there and lo and behold, there's good cell signal up there as it turns out. But then we had to come back down, so. So Bill told me that this is the version of the internet when you're out here in the middle of nowhere. This white page with all the ads. I've gone back in time. Okay, you're bringing them out now. Yeah, so this is where we are when it comes to snacks, okay? So we've gone through pretty much every snack that we have, except for this one. And this is the most important snack of all. It's in the vault. It's, it's in the vault. I'm gonna use my special you know keypad. Okay. Yeah, my special keypad here to open it. The incredible Oreo, Oreo purple. purple. You don't know what it means. Close the vault. Do you have a tool for opening the Oreo purple? I may end up using my key. <laughs> there we go. We've broken the seal on Oreo purple. They look like Oreos. They do. But notice the purple filling. I can't. Is it per Oh my goodness! That's almost... I don't know what color. It's like violet. This is known in the business as scrump delicious. Scrump delicious. There it is in all its glory. Just as described. Never has there been a more descriptive packaging of a mystery purple product. Purple Oreo. Purple Oreo. That's all you need to know. I don't know what flavor it is. It's purple. purple.
now we're packed up and dumped and, <laughs> and we're re-recording this because Kelly has a problem with her trigger finger apparently and we're leaving the Buckskin, Buckskin Mountain State Park which is gorgeous it's right on the Colorado and um, just wonderful we had a hike up to the top of this mountain uh, really intense walked across the highway to the other side and um, on a little bridge and yeah just an absolutely beautiful campground but we're headed up to Lake Mead on a Friday it's the weekend it's a first come first serve set of campgrounds and we're hoping we get a spot but we don't really know we're gonna find out if it was smart or unwise and we've got but we've got a backup plan so there is a casino up there we know we can stay at least we stayed last year so always have a backup plan if you're going first come first served and you're out in the middle of nowhere basically which I consider to be Boulder, Nevada, to be out in the middle of nowhere. Mm. So, here we go. Colorado over there and California over on the other side. We asked them uh, about the other side of the river there. We see all the people in California. And I, don't, I didn't see any towns on the map, so we asked someone and basically they come down to Parker on the Arizona side. They cross over the river to get to services. There's really nothing much over there, but it does look enticing. There's a lot of Indian land and just general gorgeousness. That's what is the one. We could get out of town See the beautiful world around Wanna see it now Pack our bags and get in that car Leave a little note and we'll drive real far